How's it going guys? Sorry I haven't made a video in a while, but I've been overseas. As you can see here, this is a Japanese Nintendo 64. But I've got so, a few things I want to show you first that I'm not going to unbox, but still they're pretty cool. So I've got here a brand new Super Mario Bros 3, still with its plastic wrapping around it. It's got a, don't know if you can see it, but it's got a vertical seam there, and all around the edge. And on the back, it's got a horizontal one there, and that apparently means it's brand new. So yeah, brand new Super Mario Bros. 3. It also got here a Mario Kart 64 action figure of Mario, Boo, and a kart. I had a couple of these as a kid, and I just wanted to try finish off my collection, so... There we go. So now the Japanese Nintendo 64. It's got a nice design on the box. It says Nintendo 64 in the corner there as I just about knocked the camera off. And yeah. On the side here. It's just got a cardboard thing that sits on top of some styrofoam. Just most Japanese stuff is like that. Let's open it up. So you got the instruction manual here. Got the power cord that goes in the back there. Have the console here. It actually looks pretty new. If you look at my old one that I got one on my seventh birthday or something, it's faded and it's grey. This looks all black. Got the cable here to plug into the TV and a controller and the joystick seems pretty good. So, the reason I got the Japanese Nintendo 64 was because I've got a converter that lets you play Japanese games on the PAL or Australian Nintendo 64, but it didn't work with Animal Crossing. So, hopefully Animal, Animal Crossing works with this Nintendo 64. Don't see why not, but stranger things have happened. So, I'll just set it up and see if it works. Okay guys, I got my Japanese Nintendo 64 set up here with Animal Crossing in it. And there's my old PAL Nintendo 64 with a Japanese converter and the Japanese Mario Kart 64 here. So, I'll test it out. I've got a big mess of cords there. Nothing new. Um, this thing is Magnavox Odyssey. It's the first video game console basically. Uh, I haven't got around to making a video about that yet, but I will eventually. So let's test it and see if it works. There we go, it works. Oh wait, hang on, I need to plug memory card in. I don't know if you need to turn it off. I'll just turn it off just in case. So here we are, Animal Crossing and Nintendo 64. Looks pretty much exactly like the GameCube one from what I can remember. One. Top one again. <laughs> it 
Whoa, alright. This person is off the litter bug. Okay, I have no idea what these furnitures are, that's an axe. Uh, yeah, it's got the four houses and everything just like the Ganky one. In fact, I think it is the Ganky one. <laughs> So that's how you run Z. Just seeing if I can find anything that I haven't seen before. Here's someone's house. Oh, missed him. So yeah, it's Animal Crossing on Nintendo 64 and unboxing of a Japanese Nintendo 64. Thanks for watching, catch you later.